Hi everyone, my name is Memduh Al-Harbi from My Way Dentist. This video, inshallah, will be the first video of a series that's going to talk about removable partial denture. The first video is talking about what's the RBD, the indication, contraindications, and when to avoid the RBD. In the next videos, we will talk about the components, the designing, and the clinical steps. These are the references that will be used in this uh, series. And before we go through the uh, removable partial denture, I want just to remind you about the treatment options when you have a patient that has lost his tooth or his teeth. Of course, ideally you would say that the dental implant is the best treatment, but we need to always to remember that not all the cases or the patients are suitable for the dental implants, whether because the patient cannot afford it or the uh, uncontrolled systemic diseases, and there are many factors. So now we will switch to the other options, which is uh, fixed partial denture or removable partial denture or complete if the patient has a full edentulous arch. We are going in these slides to focus uh, on the removable partial denture. And the removable partial denture is defined as the removable denture that replaces some teeth in a partially edentulous arch. And the removable partial denture can be readily inserted and removed from the mouth by the patient. If you want to say the indications or if you want to compare between removable partial denture and the fixed partial denture, and when we say that the RBD is better to use, here are some circumstances that we prefer the removable partial denture over the fixed partial denture. First, first of all, when we have a long edentulous span, we always prefer to go with the RBD. Why? Because the RBD will take the support from uh, the ridge or the soft tissue, and the anti-slow cannot, cannot be applied with this, uh, a long span uh, edentulous areas, uh, as we know that we need it on the FBD. The second point is the age of the patient. In the young patients, especially less than 17, they have a large pulp chambers. They have uh, a, a short clinical crowns because some teeth are not fully erupted. And these uh, things could cause problems when you do the preparation. So again, RBD is better. Uh, another reason is the abutment teeth that you need when you want uh, or when you plan to do a fixed partial denture. So you need an abutment teeth uh, before and after the space. Uh, another reasons to com uh, or other reasons to also to consider is excessive bone loss, uh, less or uh, um, compromised BDL of the remaining teeth, and these affecting uh, to ch uh, on your choice because the load and the forces that applied by the FBD uh, cannot be stand with with uh, these uh, problems. The sixth point is the cross arch stabilizations that can be obtained by the RBD because uh, the major connector will give you uh, uh, the cross arch stabilization uh, again uh, against the um, lateral forces, anterior posterior forces, also patient considerations, as we said, such as the age or the patient mentality uh, or like the economics of the patient. Uh, the last two points uh, are the aesthetic. As you know that when we, when we have the RPD, the teeth uh, can be positioned uh, or uh, the teeth can uh, arising from the, uh, the base. So it will stand like for the gingiva when you have the bone loss. So the aesthetically, it will be better uh, appearance. The final thing is the teeth replacement or the immediate teeth replacement. When the patient lost a tooth and he already had the RBD, you can just do relining and add the tooth, which is easier. Uh, in the other hand, on the other hand, when you have an FBD and the patient lost his tooth, this might change the whole treatment plan for this patient. So in summary, if we want to say that the indications would say when you have uh, like one of these scenarios, like for example, uh, two teeth uh, posteriorly are lost or four anterior teeth are lost, directly you go for RBD. Or another example, when you have the canine is lost and the two adjacent uh, teeth uh, before or after the canine are also lost, you will go for the RBD because in these two circumstances or uh, scenarios, uh, 
يعني يو كانت ابلاي اللي هو الانتي سلوب. Uh, another indication when you have multiple edentulous spaces in the same arch, so you have a space on the right uh, side and the left side, when you do the RBD, it will be uh, as a one treatment. You can, uh, uh, you can obtain uh, or treat these spaces. Um, also, when you have a tip teeth that uh, inhibit you from doing the uh, preparation, you can go also for RBD. Uh, again, we, as we discussed, the weak periodontal uh, teeth and severe loss of tissue and bone. Uh, and here, exactly, uh, we, uh, we, we prefer to go for RBD because in the bone loss, uh, the, tooth, uh, the teeth position, like when you do the fixed partial denture, it will, it will not be as the uh, RBD because when the, uh, there is a bone loss or the loss of tissue, the uh, buccolingual position of teeth, it will, not, it will not be the same, and you cannot obtain it, uh, as in the RBD. And finally, uh, old patients, because they have less expectation, uh, and uh, it's better because the overall health of the patients to go with an RBD. Uh, regarding the, when to avoid the RBD, we would summarize it in uh, these three uh, points. First of all, the anatomic, when you have anatomic considerations, such as a uh, large tongue, for example, uh, that would push, uh, push the RBD and uh, will uh, cause a problem with the stabilization. So here, it's, uh, you cannot use the RBD. Uh, oral hygiene, of course, which is very important. The patient that cannot obtain or maintain the oral hygiene, you cannot deliver for him the treatment unless, you, uh, unless he obtain the oral hygiene. Uh, finally, the patient attitude, whether the patient doesn't accept the treatment or will not follow up with the uh, dentist, uh, dentist instructions. The last thing that we are going to discuss in this uh, video is the failure of RBD. And we need uh, to mention that the failure could happen at any point of the treatment, starting from the diagnosis and the treatment planning or during the follow-up uh, appointments. Uh, so during you might go with a uh, wrong diagnosis and wrong treatment plan and this is because of failure uh, or maybe during the mouth preparation procedure or the designing itself is wrong uh, also sometimes the laboratory procedure whether you didn't deliver for the technician a good impression or the technician didn't do the surveying uh, well these will cause uh, a failure during the treatment also support from the denture paces. Any problem during this phase that uh, because of the support of the denture uh, paces, as we said, maybe you don't capture the whole uh, ridge which the RBD will take the support from. So this is will uh, cause a failure. Uh, finally, the occlusion. Sometimes you cannot uh, reach the harmony with the occlusion. And this is, of course, a failure in the treatment and the patient-dentist relationship, whether the dentist doesn't give a follow-up for the patient or the patient doesn't uh, follow the instruction of the, ten, uh, of the dentist. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and inshallah, uh, the next video will be uh, beneficial and uh, wait uh, for it inshallah. Thank you.